For most players, the eyes play a significant role in their putting game. The eyes are helpful for reading the greens, for aiming your putter head, and aligning your body. But over the years, I've discovered one area where your eyes can actually hurt your putting game. I'll reveal that area a little later today on Winning Golf. Time for some winning golf. Winning golf, that's beautiful putt. what we Good play. Job. Working on that short game each and every day. I'm near the green again. That's where the action all begins. With winning golf. Yeah. Winning golf. Making that wedge stop on a dime. Getting that bunker shot up close. Every single time. Woo! Back in my stance, making it dance, up and down again. Oh, Winning golf. Everybody wins. That's right. Everybody wins. Winning golf is brought to you by SAP. SAP, the best run businesses run SAP. Hi everyone and welcome to another exciting week of winning golf where everybody wins and boy oh boy do we have an exciting show for you today. First I am pleased to welcome one of winning golf's very special sponsors, PJ Willihans to the show. A little later this fun and talented group will compete for some great prizes in the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge. For my instruction, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite putting drills of all time. And as usual, today's champion will pitch from 90 feet for a brand new infinity. You won't want to miss that. And of course, we'll take a tour around this week's host facility. Believe me, it's one of a kind. It's called Bully Rock Country Club. In fact, let's take a tour around right now. Superb, pristine, one of a kind. There are many ways to describe this distinguished course. Perhaps Bully Rock's slogan says it all. Named for a thoroughbred, designed by a legend, your country club for a day. One walk around the golf course leads many players to simply describe Bully Rock as 235 acres of golf heaven. Of course, a renowned track like Bully Rock only becomes legendary when you have a designer like Pete Dye. Dye is known for his challenging and often very long golf courses, but he is also celebrated as a hands-on architect. Dye upheld his reputation by spending 79 days personally at Bully Rock, many of those on a bulldozer. I think the design is terrific. When you look at the golf course, uh, there's 18 very different holes. No hole looks like another. Every hole goes in a different direction. The routing is great. There's a wonderful mix of uh, long par fours, short par fours, four good par threes, and, and some interest, really interesting par fives. This magnificent track is the premier public course in the Mid-Atlantic region and is the number one rated public golf course in the state of Maryland. Bully Rock, which opened in 1998, has also received national recognition as a championship golf facility. In fact, from 2005 through 2009, Bully Rock hosted the McDonald's Championship, one of the majors on the LPGA Tour. This die masterpiece has 18 distinctly different holes with a wonderful mix of short and long ones. The small greens and brutal rough make for a challenging yet rewarding day. Each hole provides five sets of tees, which allows all levels of players to enjoy the experience. The conditions are impeccable from tee to green, with breathtaking views on several holes. It's worth noting from the tips, you will need your A-plus game to battle the 7,300 yards, the 76.6 course rating, and the 148 slope. The golf course, is, I think, is as good as it's ever been. Um, we've done a lot over the last five years from a maintenance standpoint. Um, to, to, to bring that along and it just continues to get, it's, you know, it's 14 years old now and it just continues to get better and better and uh, you know, this year condition wise I'll stack it up against anything this year. Boy Rock is the conditions, the course is absolutely gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's tremendous. It's, it's a fantastic course, it's, it's tight, you have to hit the ball straight, the fairways is beautiful, they're magnificent and I, the rough you get in the rough, you, you're in trouble. You penalize yourself. So it's a very challenging course. Bully Rock has all of the amenities that you would expect at a first-class facility. Silk's Restaurant offers a terrific menu to golfers, as well as small or large groups. 
and provides a casual yet elegant dining atmosphere. The clubhouse features full service locker rooms, a well stocked 2400 square foot pro shop and a professional golf staff that offers superb service. And my personal advice to all golfers, arrive well before your tee time to take advantage of the beautiful practice facilities that include a unique double fairway driving range, a three green short game practice area, and a 17,000 square foot putting green. In all areas of the operation, one thing is for sure, the Bully Rock staff is eager to serve you. Bully Rock is conveniently located minutes off I-95 in Hover to Grace, Maryland. For directions, tee times, and rates, as well as information on weddings, corporate outings, and frequent player programs, please call toll-free 1-888-285-5375 or check out the web www.bullyrock.com. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. On the tee today, I would like to share with you five setup keys that will help your chip shots get close to the pin. All these are good for control as well as making crisp contact with the golf ball. Key number one is choking down on the golf club. Just like a baseball player when he's bunting, if you want to put the ball in a certain location, you move your hands down on the club. The same thing in golf. When I'm chipping, I'll choke down on that golf club. My second key is my stance. I'll take my normal stance and I'll narrow my stance quite a bit. That keeps me from moving over the golf ball. When I'm chipping, I want to stay still. By narrowing my stance, I'll solve that issue. Keys number three, four, and five have to do with the contact. First is my ball position. Normally the ball is more in the center. When I'm chipping, I'm going to move the ball more back in my stance. My second key is my body weight. My body weight is centered. I'm going to move my body weight forward in my stance. And my third key for contact is taking my hands and also moving them forward. Let's see if I can put these five setup keys into action. I'm going to choke down. I have a narrow stance. My ball is back. My hands and weight are forward. And here we go. If you put these five keys into action, I promise your chip shots will be around the pin. I'll see you next week on the tee. And now it's time for the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge, brought to you by Cleveland Golf. Cleveland Golf, where scoring matters. Now let's meet our competitors. Lance Rhodes, Dan O'Shaughnessy, Rob Ricci, Dan Rudley, Joe Shorn, Jim Friss, Rich Rodowitz, Chris Webb, Sean Leonard, Martin Baker, Bill Donovan, Bob Shermerhorn. Well, Jim Friss and Chris Webb, it's wonderful to have you here today at a special day at Bully Rock, and Winning Golf is honored to have P.J. Wheelhands as a sponsor in 2011. I think we're going to have a great day. Glad to be here. we got a lot of our suppliers and friends here, and looking forward to knocking them dead. Well, we're going to knock them dead. We're going to have fun, and guys, we're going to have a putting contest. How does that sound? Sounds great. Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. All right. Each week, I have a host of the group pull a name out of the hat. That player then putts from 50 feet. At the end of the season, whoever's closest to the cup, or maybe even in the cup, win an amazing prize package. So Jim Friss, would you be kind enough to pull a name out of that hat? Who is our lucky contestant from PJ Willihans? Dan Rudley. Dan Rudley. Right, Dan. Congratulations, Dan. Thank you. Roll one next to the hole. Well, here we go. We are on the practice green at gorgeous Bowie Rock Country Club. Dan Rudley is putting from 50 feet for an incredible prize package that includes an Adams driver, a Seymour putter, a Sun Mountain bag, dinner for two at P.J. Willihan's and a romance package at the beautiful Desmond Hotel. For Dan, the goal is simple. Roll this 50-foot putt inside nine inches and he moves ahead of Tom Price into the top spot. We want a one-piece motion here. It looks like a good stroke. Does he have the right speed? Boy, this looks like a terrific effort by Dan Rudley and look at that putt. Well, Dan Rudley, congratulations. That was a terrific effort from 50 feet. Thank you, Doug. Uh, guys, how about another putting contest? But this one, we're going to move much closer, like 10 feet from the hole. So we're going to move 40 feet up, and Chris Webb, now I need your help. I am looking for the hottest putter in your group here today, the player that loves the pressure, the player that loves the camera, the player that can walk up here and roll in a 10-foot putt for a beautiful prize. Did you bring somebody like that with you today? 
I think we did, Doug. I think Lance Rhodes is ready to go. Lance Rhodes, come on up here. Lance, here's your deal. You have a 10-foot putt. You roll in this putt, I hand you this beautiful Seymour putter, one of the greatest putters in the game. You up for the challenge? Absolutely. Let's do it. It's a beautiful stroke. Is it going to get to the hole? It's getting tracking. Oh, right on the edge. Nice try, Lance. Thanks. Well done. <laughs> well, we obviously have a very talented group here today, so don't touch that remote. We'll be right back for the real competition from Bully Rock Country Club when winning golf returns. Up next, our players make some great shots. Plus, Doug provides some short game tips when winning golf, brought to you by SAP, returns. Enjoy one-of-a-kind hospitality at the Desmond Hotel Malvern, a full-service hotel with a staff focused on providing exceptional customer service. It's no wonder our guests say the Desmond Hotel is the best part of traveling. This summer, visit the Sunset Grill at the Desmond. Succulent Maine lobster, live music, and special cocktails. Come see why we're consistently voted the best outdoor dining in Chester County. If it's important to you, trust it to us at the Desmond. Wedges aren't just individual clubs. They really perform as a short game scoring system. So proper gapping between clubs is critical. My loss are 48, 54, 60. I play 47, 51, 58. 48, 52, and 58. 48, 54, and 60. To improve your scores, go to the wedge fitting system at clevelandgolf.com, where we'll help you determine the right wedge set for your game. Prizes for our contestants on Winning Golf provided by Proforma Industries, your one source for promotional products, printing services, business documents, and e-commerce solutions. And by Tour Sticks, the number one training aid used by tour professionals. And by David O'Keefe, master sculptor and painter of pop icons. Everybody wins. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Hey guys, you ready to stick some shots next to the pin? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Well, they certainly sound ready to me, so let's start round one of the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge. We welcome our Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge players to the beautiful and challenging links at Bully Rock. They will have the chance to showcase their short game skills in four preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important Survivor Round. Our top two winners in the Survivor Round will compete in an up-and-in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one, a 45-foot chip shot to the Bully Rock practice green. Martin Baker led the charge with this stroke. That's coming back towards the hole just behind the pin and a great effort by Martin Baker. Host Jim Friss stoked the competition with this shot. Looks like perfect speed. Nice effort by Jim Friss. Joe Shorn knocked it close with his chip. This looks pretty good. Good line, good speed, and a great effort by Joe Shorn. Sean Leonard rolls it to about four feet. Sean Leonard with a nice stroke and a pitching wedge. This is going right at it. A beautiful stroke, and that is a terrific effort. Chris Webb tried to steal the prize with this swing. This is going right at it. This could go in. Wow. But it was Bill Donovan that would take the round with this beauty. Is it enough? Wow, what a nice effort. Bill Donovan. Up next, a 30-foot putt that Lance Rhodes rolled close. A good stroke, good speed, and that's right below the hole. Well done, Lance. Daniel O'Shaughnessy was just a little bit better. A beautiful effort. This could go in. Oh, just on the lip. Rob Ricci plays it to a foot from the cup. This has the speed that it get there. Wow. As does Rich Rodowitz. A nice setup, a nice stroke, great speed. This could go in, and that's right at it. Wow. But watch this shot by Dan Rudley. Beautiful stroke. This has a chance to go in. Wow, Dan Rudley. He takes the prize. Now it's time to test the sand skills. Dan Rudley had no problem with this bunker shot. That's a golf shot right there. Well done. 
Bob Schirmerhorn enjoyed his time on the beach. And that's a nice touch by Bob. But Bill Donovan would take the round, finishing up at just five and a half feet. Wow. Round four features a 30-yard pitch from a tight lie. Rob Ricci's swing had some promise. Rob Ricci with a good soft touch. Good effort by Rob Ricci. Right. Sean Leonard made a nice run at the prize. And that's a good effort from Sean Leonard. Good stroke, Sean. But check out this gem by host Chris Webb. A real soft pitch shot. Oh, that's a great effort by Chris Webb. Nicely done. He takes the round. And now Doug will try to prepare our players for our survivor round with this week's short game tip. Gentlemen, the eyes play a significant role in your putting game. They help you align your putter head, they help you read greens, and they help with your body alignment. But your eyes can also hurt your putting stroke. Players get into their setup and they try for the perfect stroke. They take it back straight and back and through, or they bring it inside, back to square and inside. They're trying to put the putter head in a perfect position. Your eyes are watching the putter head. That isn't natural. You lose your fluidness, you lose your tempo. It's not an effortless stroke anymore. So I like to use a drill that actually takes your eyes out of the stroke. You don't see the ball or the putter head. Here's how it works. I get into my setup, get over the golf ball, look at my target a couple of times, and then keep my eyes on the target. So I never see the ball, I never see the putter head. I take it back and through, back and through. What I'm doing here is actually decreasing the sense of sight, but of increasing my sense of feel. You will be amazed at how straight you hit the golf ball, how solid you hit it, and from different distances, you will develop feel. Makes sense, guys? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Right. You gotta have feel when you're putting. So I'd like to bring up Rod Ricci. Rod, would you come up here and put this tip in action? Sure. Get him, Rob. Come on up here, Bob. All right, Rob. Rob, I'd like you to get in your setup for me, please. All right. You can read the green. Use your eyes beforehand to so read the green. Align your putter. Make sure your feet, hips, and shoulders are parallel to your putting line. You ready for that? I am. Now we're going to get rid of your eyes. I want you to look at your target. I want you to leave your eyes at the target. And I want you to feel we're about 30 feet away. I want you to feel 30 feet, but you're never going to look at the ball or your putter head. I'm going to step back with this wonderful group from PJ Willihans. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at this stroke, guys. Great. What a great effort. Look at this. Wow. wow. Rob Ricci, that was a great putt. Thanks for the tip, Doug. You're quite welcome. Remember, if you want to play winning golf on the green, you have to trust your stroke. By taking your eyes out of the equation, you will build that trust. Well done, partner. Thanks, Doug. The top two players in our Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. And check out the shot we have for our competitors. A 30-yard pitch out of the deep rough from above the green. Dan Rudley showing no fear. That's right at it. Wow. Joe Shorn put a nice swing on the ball as well. And here it comes. And that's a good effort. Pin high. Well done, Joe. But check out the touch from Chris Webb. He's got very soft hands. That shot puts him in the lead. But there was one better, Bill Donovan. Nice and high out of this rough. This is going to come down right next to the hole. And what an effort that is by Bill Donovan. So Donovan and Webb are our top two finishers. Chris Webb, one of the P.J. Wheelahan's hosts, graciously gave up his final spot to Joe Shorn. So it will be Shorn and Donovan in our up and in playoff to determine this week's champion when winning golf brought to you by SAP continues. This is a technology. This is something that is way beyond anything I did with the tight lies. It has that spring like effect that uh, uh, a driver has and this is basically the first three wood has ever had this. You hit that shot and, and you see what it does and, and you'll never want to hit another fairway wood. New Velocity Slot technology produces a hotter face and up to 12 yards more distance. The Speedline F11 Fairway Wood from Adams Golf. When Infinity of Ardmore and Infinity of Westchester asked me to say a few words about my new red Infinity, they didn't have to twist my arm. Infinities are great looking and exciting to drive. I love my new Red G37, and the people at Infinity of Ardmore and Westchester made purchasing my new Red Infinity so easy. 
Oh, did I mention it's red? Visit us at Infinity of Ardmore and Infinity of Westchester.com. You'll soon see why we're Infinity and Beyond. Visit PJ Wellahan's local craft beer selection for our $2 daily special. Nobody does beer special like we do. Visit our Shanghai Sesame Wings. Or PJ's famous hot and honey sauce. Nobody does buffalo wings like we do. Is it getting together with friends or catching every play in high depth? Nobody does it like PJ Wellahan's. Find a location near you. Visit PJ'sPub.com. Prizes and tea gifts for the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge provided by Sun Mountain Golf Bags, Sun Mountain, ahead of time design. See more putters, hide the red dot, see more. The Winston Collection, creating signature leather products for the finest golf clubs in the world. And by PJ Wheelahan's Pub and Restaurant. Visit one of our area locations today. Doug Hendricks Wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. It's time now for the SAP Up and In Playoff on Winning Golf. Welcome back to Winning Golf and the exciting SAP Up and In Playoff, which will decide this week's champion. I'm standing here with our two finalists. Guys, terrific job today. Thanks, Thanks Doug. Doug. Had a great time. It was a great day. And, Bill, let me start with you. You finished first in the Survivor Round, which means here in the SAP Playoff, you'll get the choice of going first or second. So what's your strategy going to be? Uh, Doug, I think I'm going to go second and put the pressure on Joe. Okay, well, you get to see what Joe's going to do, which exactly. is a good thing. So, Joe, that means you're going first, and what's your plan of attack? Uh, Doug, I'm going to go first. I'm going to try to knock it tight right away. Well, I like both strategies. These guys have great short games. Now, remember, we're playing an up-and-in format, which means whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes is our champion. Guys, good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate yep. it. Good luck. Well, we're down to two, and for our finalists, it's up and in for a bunch of prizes, a slot in the winning golf championship, and a chance to pitch for a brand new infinity. Our first shot in the SAP playoff will be a pitch shot out of the rough, about 25 yards. This should break from left to right for the players. Joe Shorn will have the honors. Joe is the vice president of Shorn Construction, carries a six handicap, and plays most of his golf at broad run. And Joe brings it out early here. And that's a good touch and a good effort by Joe Shorn in his first shot. He puts some nice pressure on Bill Donovan. And now it's Bill Donovan's turn to try and perform some magic with the wedge. Bill is the area manager for Don, Sebastiani, and Sons, has a five handicap, and plays most of his golf at Merlin Golf and Country Club. It's coming a little bit hot. It's going to go off the edge of the green, but not a bad effort. He'll still be had the putter in his hand. Well, Bill Donovan will putt first here. You got about 12 feet. He's just off the green on the fringe. He's got to bring it up high, and here it comes down. It's a big break here on the beautiful putting green at Bully Rock. And now it's Joe Shorn's turn. He has about seven feet. He's just inside on the edge of the green. Beautiful stroke. Here it comes down. Oh, just past the hole, and look at it go. Challenging green here at Bully Rock. Joe Shorn is about four and a half feet below the hole, putting for three. Joe Shorn takes it back and puts it right in the heart of the hole for a three, and that's a great effort by Joe Shorn. Now it's Bill Donovan's turn. The situation is this. If he makes this, we'll have a chip off to determine our champion. If he misses, then Joe Shorn takes the title. And it's in the hole, and we're going to have a chip off to decide our champion. Well, what an exciting finish. Both players have played like champions here today, and now it comes down to one chip shot from 25 yards. Joe Shorn will go first and try to nestle one close to the hole. Brings it in nice and high. Looks like the line is very good, and here it comes down towards the hole. And that looks to be about 12 feet from the hole. And now it's Bill Donovan's turn. He will need his best effort of the day. And here's the shot. It's going at it. Looks like a very good touch. Let's see where this winds up. And it looks like Bill Donovan is our champion here at Bully Rock. Bill Donovan, congratulations on winning the Winning Golf Championship here at beautiful Bully Rock Country Club. Thanks, Doug. I really appreciate Winning Golf and the P.J. Well and Hands guys for uh, inviting us today. Uh, it was a great day. Well, you've got a great short game. I want you to know it's not over yet. You've won a bunch of prizes, a mm -hmm. slot in the Winning Golf Championship, and in a couple minutes you will get the pitch from 90 feet for brand new Infinity G37 convertible. What a car. How's that sound? Well, that sounds good if I can make it. Still to come, our champion has a chance to win a new Infinity G37 convertible. Stay tuned as Winning Golf brought to you by SAP continues. 
The reason so many tour pros and amateurs are switching to Srixon golf balls is simple. They're better. The core is the engine of the ball. A bigger core means greater distance. We make the biggest core in golf. When it comes to feel, you need a soft cover. We make the softest cover in the game. And we're leading the way in visual performance with pure white and tour yellow. Because, because what you see better, you play better. Make the switch to Srixon. Play a better ball. When Infinity of Ardmore and Infinity of Westchester asked me to say a few words about my new red Infinity, they didn't have to twist my arm. Infinities are great looking and exciting to drive. I love my new red G37, and the people at Infinity of Ardmore and Westchester made purchasing my new red Infinity so easy. Oh, did I mention it's red? Visit us at Infinity of Ardmore and Infinity of Westchester.com. You'll soon see why we're Infinity and beyond. Adams Golf pioneered aerodynamic drivers, and while others have tried to follow, we've raised the bar once again, adding our patented Velocity Slot technology. The Breakthrough Speedline F11 Driver, 35% more aerodynamic for up to 12 yards more distance. Chances are, this driver will blow yours away. The Speedline F11 Driver from Adams Golf. It's time now on Winning Golf for the Infinity Champions Pitch. You'll soon see why we're Infinity and beyond. Welcome back to Winning Golf for our final event, the Champions Pitch. Each week our champion will attempt to hole out from 90 feet to win a brand new Infinity G37 convertible. Winning Golf is thrilled to have two fabulous dealerships, Infinity of Westchester and Infinity of Ardmore, sponsoring this event. So here we go. We are on the putting green at the spectacular Bully Rock Country Club. Our champion, Bill Donovan, is 90 feet away. If he can hit the shot of his life, he will drive home in a gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous, Infinity G37 convertible. What an incredible car. And here it comes. Looks like he's got a good line, good speed. Is it coming towards the hole? And that's a terrific effort by our champion, Bill Donovan, about six feet from the hole. Well, one thing's for sure. A day at Bully Rock is a special day for everyone. What a first class facility. Speaking of first class, I want to thank our group from PJ Willihans today. What a nice group of players. Whether this group is playing or eating, they know how to have a great time. Speaking of time, I hope you had a great time watching today's show. I'll see you next week. Winning Golf is brought to you by SAP. SAP, the best run businesses run SAP. Winning Golf. Every